welcome to blender days dear subscribers and viewers this is my 52nd video teapot second part in this video we will see about how to uv and texture teapot using blender and photoshop in blender after completing modeling and before to the uv and texturing to the following steps make sure the model is ready for uv apply all modifiers which are used during modeling process align and make sure the object is placed to the origin 0,0,0, .0 apply all transform for each object Here I am applying a random texture and name it before UV to the teapot to show how the texture will appear if UV is not done properly. Applying same texture for all four parts of the teapot. Look how the texture appears unpleasant on the model. Why such appearance? Because UV unwrapping not done yet for this model. Before UV unwrapping, apply a checker map to the model. Check how these squares are stretched and not arranged properly. To make this checker pattern appear proper, we are going to do UV unwrap this model. Blender has default UVW projection method. I am applying few projection method and checking the checker pattern results on the model. Still, the result is not good. So, I manually select loops to mark seams, then unwrap it, then finally arrange it in UV graph editor.
after unwrapping to straighten the UV. Select a quad from the middle which nearly appears as a square or rectangle. Change to vertex mode and select upper two points. Scale. Press S to scale. Align straight to X and Y axis. Do this process for all four sides of the selected quad. Then select the quad and right click and choose follow active quads which straighten the UVs. Do this process for all UVs.
finally arrange the UVs manually in UV graph editor. Save the UV arrangement to a PNG file using UV menu, select export UV layout. Give a file name and save it in a folder. Open UV Layout PNG in Photoshop. Keep it in separate layer on top of all layers. Then bring your designs image into Photoshop. Arrange it under the UVs, where the design need to appear on the teapot. Here I applied one by one from top to bottom of the teapot.
Save your texture in a different PNG or JPG file. While saving, turn off the eye icon of UV layout layer to hide the lines in your texture file. Finally, apply the texture to the object using Shader Editor. I named it as after UV. You can name it as you like. Set the camera on lights to render the teapot.
choose cycles in render properties then hit F12 to start render the teapot. If this video is useful for you, please click on like button and subscribe this channel. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Have a great day.